Okay guys, so today we're going to look at um, adding sounds into this game. So we'll have a look at uh, how we can do like sound effects. So for us we're going to do, you know, when the gun fires it's going to play an effect or a sound. Uh, when the, um, the drones get destroyed it will play a sound. And we're going to have a look at some background music as well. So importing some music that will just play generally in the background as well as uh, having it play so that it only plays when you're in a certain area of the map. So uh, yeah, let's get started. So I'm just going to create a new folder as, um, as I would for my sounds, keep things organized. So call it sounds, that makes some sense. Um, and I'm going to import the files. So just before I do, one thing that you need to be aware of with sound in Unreal Engine is that it's only going to support uh, WAV files, WAV files, so .wav. So if you've downloaded something and it's like an MP3 or something like that, you may just need to convert it to um, a to .wav file. Um, if you're wondering how to do that, you can just search on Google for MP3 to WAV converter, and there'll be online ones that will do it for you uh, for free. So just make sure it is a uh, .wav file before you import it in. Okay, um, so I'm going to import. And I can see here um, that I have. So you see when I hover over it, it says item type wave audio file. That's what you want. Um, so we'll start with uh, this laser gun sound effect. The um, sounds I've got, by the way, are from the YouTube audio sound library. Uh, again, you can just Google search that and you can download sounds for free. They're copyright free mostly. All right, so we've got this sound here. So if I just play it. Here, it's just like a laser gun firing. So I want to apply that to when I fire my gun. So if you're thinking, oh, okay, I need a sound, it needed to play at a certain time. You need to find the script that's doing the thing that you, that, you know, you want to apply that sound to. So for me, it's the gun when it fires, right? So I'm going to go to my first person blueprints and go to the blueprint for the gun. Okay, so here's my gun, here's the blueprint. Uh, this one's a little bit different to what you might see on yours because in an earlier video in the series I've removed the playing of the sound of the gun because it's quite loud and distracting in the videos. So you'll have some stuff here already, okay, um, that where you can just change the sound file to this new sound file. It'll be really easy. But if I just drag this out and change this to play sound 2D, that's literally all I need. So when the gun fires, it's going to spawn the projectile and then it's going to play the sound and then the animation. So the sound I want it to play is the um, search for it, the laser gun that I just imported. So let's compile that. OK, so it's going to play that sound at that point within the script. So let's just try that. Let's push play. Pick up my gun. That firing. Excellent. So that's nice and easy. So let's go to the drones now. So again, I'm going to go to my drone folder, go to my drone blueprint. So when do I want it to happen? Well, I don't want it to play when the drone starts moving. I mean, you could technically do something on there if you wanted to, but I want to do it when it's destroyed. So here's the script that destroys my um, drone. So when it gets hit by the projectile, it does the explosion emitter and destroys the actor and then play sound 2D. Simple. Which sound do I want it to play? Notice I didn't import anything because I've got the starter content. Starter content has some sounds for us already. Um, this Explosion 01 will be fine. Uh, you can download something different if you want to, but it's going to compile that and let's try that. You can hear obviously the laser firing now and obviously when those drones get destroyed you get the explosion sound great so let's just turn our attention to music so um, let's go back to my sounds folder and i'm going to import this time i've got this song again this is from the youtube royalty free library um, it might not be the vibe that you want to have in the background of your game but you know it'll do for me for, for the demonstration so um, in order to get this into just the game, um, I could have it as a like a blueprint script that was like event begin play uh, play 2D sound, but it, you, there's an easy even easier way of doing this. So what you can do is convert this. 
So I right click the sound I want and create a cue. Okay, it automatically creates this cue. So it's got the, the title and then just cue at the end. And as easy as, it, as this, I just drag it into the map. That's it, <laughs> it's done. So that will play whenever the character, you know, whenever this map loads, that sound will play. It's just part of the map. So let's just test that. Cool. So we can see that the soundtrack works uh, along with all of my sound effects. So yeah, pretty simple. But what if I wanted the sound to play only when I was in a certain area, you know, when you were um, you entered a building, like maybe uh, some different atmospheric sounds played or something like that. I don't know. Um, what we can do is we can double click to open up this queue in a new window. And we can click this button here, override attenuation. Turn that on. If I just minimize this, you can now see that it's got these orange spheres around. OK, so and there's a fall off of that, which goes really far back. So we can adjust that. So if I make um, make the fall off distance just a little bit higher, so inner radius is 400, fall off 500, save that. So if I move the sound now into this building over here, um, like this. So when I'm in the building, the music is the we're in the inner radius in the building, so it's going to be playing at its loudest. When I'm in this area here, just in front of the building. It'll be playing, but just quieter. And the closer you get to the inner radius, it's going to get louder. OK, so if you like that effect, you know, if you're at a bit of a distance, and you can hear something in the distance. Then you can have this fall off as big as you need it to be. Um, or you can keep it so it's smaller. That, that again, that's going to be up to you and your game design. So um, that won't work in its current state, though. For some reason, it's a bit weird. What you need to do is you need to go and click the actual sound here. And it will only work if it's on looping. Um, bit of bit of a weird one that one, but that's a, one of them things. So we'll just push save to make sure it's saved. Uh, let's give it a test. So you can see that as I go further away, the sound gets quieter. Yeah, and when obviously I'm out of that zone, it stopped playing entirely. I think it needs to be on looping so that because obviously that it, it stops and restarts every time you go in and out of the area. Um, but anyway, there we go. Um, you can have that kind of set up uh, wherever you need it to be. Uh, and that sounds really so just a quick recap. Let's go back to my drone an example. If you just want a sound to play as a sound effect at a certain time, you just chuck this play sound 2D within your script and play the sound. Simple as that. Um, if you just want background music, you can make a cue and just chuck it into the map. Uh, if you want it to be to play, you know, um, so let's delete that uh, in a certain area, then uh, you have the volume attenuation. I'm going to turn that off for mine because I'm happy with mine just playing. Um, have I duplicated that? No, uh, just freely. Uh, yeah, and that's it. Simple as that. That sound. Um, customize that how you like it. Download whatever and use whatever sounds you like. Just make sure to uh, you know be sure that they're royalty free. All right, that's all for now.